Hi guys, it's Tasha with the Day with Ethel vlog. Let me tell you, Playboy in Paradise is everything and more. Evan is that sexy kind of island boy that when we go on those tropical vacations, you want to meet. You want to get to know the guy that has the abs, the great skin, and can ride a surfboard. But more than that, you get to see the softer side. Mallory is on vacation in Hawaii. She needs to get away. She's kind of had a crappy year in college in Colorado and she just needs a new start. Her best friend Sunny is in living in Hawaii, so what does she do? She spends her summer in Hawaii, gonna enjoy the time she has with her best friend. At the airport in Hawaii, lo and behold, she meets the sexy surfer dude and these kind of two have this cat and mouse relationship. She almost gets a little annoyed with him because he sees that he's, you know, the heartbreaker of the island and all the women fawn over him. But as she gets to know Evan, she sees more. He actually is a soft hearted man, but Mallory tests every patient he has. And it's fun because you get to see these two really work through their relationship because ultimately the past of both of them could cause a lot of turmoil later on. And it was fun to see this. And he says, Mallory, you are beautiful and smart. You are special. Promise me you won't ever settle for being treated less than that, even if it's by me. And he knows that he was a playboy. He knows that he's not been the good guy for a long time. Mallory has changed him. Mallory has given him kind of that extra step and to kind of get over something in his past that you just kind of see the softer side. But Mallory has her own punches to pull. She's not afraid to call you out on your bullshit. She's not afraid to like, you know, say this is what I want. And you know, it's just leaving the bedside note when you're gonna go out and surf means a lot to Mallory. And these two really kind of overcome, you know, this stuff and he gets overcomes his bad reputation and you just, you, you fall for him and you fall for this um, kind of this summer romance. But is it more than that? Do these two really have something more to go? And guess what? We get to find out in book two, which I'm gonna go devour right now because I know it's going to be fabulous. And that's what I like about Evan and Mallory's love story is it, it is like, it's a foundation of rebuilding your trust and your love and your friendship. And that's what I love about SL Scott's books. Guys, it's in the links, go get the book. You're not gonna be disappointed. Talk to you later. Hey guys, Natasha with the Day with Ethel vlog. Oh my gosh, Evan and Mallory's story of, you know, the Playboy in Paradise, and now we have Redeeming the Playboy. It's kind of like you see their relationship grow, and it kind of like goes from this sexy, steamy summer love story to this really solid, good romance. These two have so much good going for them and they, they, you can just feel the passion but they come from two separate worlds you know Mallory is very simple and so is Evan even though he you know has all these extra things in his life he doesn't need those he just needs Mallory by his side but ultimately they have to kind of overcome you know Evan's playboy lifestyle back then you know he was the island hottie for now but he has Mallory in his life Mallory is this thing and he says this and it kind of just like it's really beautiful and he says do you think we can do you think we have strong enough foundation for us to last when we are apart and that is true these two have to build their foundation and yes they're in their college age but you know when you find the true guy you're going to be with it's in those moments that you you know that you have the foundation to fight for your love. And this is what Mallory and Evan do, is that they have their foundation and now they're building it. And yes, they have to kind of overcome some distances for a while, but when they're doing this, you just, you fall for them because you can feel it. But it's best when, you know, Sunny and Zach and um, Kate and Murphy are all there to kind of like be his biggest support system and Mallory's support to say, hey, you guys got this. The way you two look at each other and the way your foundation is, that is what love is. And this is the something else that I highlighted and I, I loved it. 
breathe because I can't when you're not. It's all so surreal and perfect. I struggle to breathe when we're like this. And it's like these two in the next breath have to be together because they are just so connected emotionally, mentally, and physically. Yeah, they're in their early 20s, but when you have that that love and that connection, it doesn't put, you can't put a stamp on an age and say, oh, you're too young for this love. You, you don't, that's what these two have. They have this thing that, you know, it's just, it's beautiful and it's sexy and, and it's so fun to see them grow from being, you know, the playboy to now, you know, be this beautiful emotional guy. Guys, it's in the links, get the book. Hey guys, Natasha with the Dave Ethel vlog. Oh my gosh, loving the Playboy. This is book three in the Playboy in Paradise series by S.L. Scott. I am like, I feel whole because you have the, you know, the first one that's like falling for the Playboy, you know, and Evan was kind of the hot shot surfer and he's kind of a Playboy and you just kind of enjoy his kind of his strong, sexy nature. And then you have Mallory who is like, she's grounded, she is determined, she knows what she's gonna say and what she's gonna do, and she's not afraid to do things. And then you have redeeming and they're like, you kind know, of working through their, their issues and you know, and colleges and all that stuff. And now we have loving the Playboy. Let me tell you, loving this Playboy has been epic. It has been one of like this ending or this final wrap up of the series is one of those like, you get to see the cocky side, the determined side, the loving side, and the huge heart side of Evan. Evan Ashford is a force to be reckoned with. And this love that he has for Mallory is un deniable it's like it's beautiful but they have to kind of play this game of you know they're grown-ups now and she's finishing up her senior year of college and he is trying to get back into college and there's a lot of forgiveness and redeeming each other with their family and and it just as you go through this it's just it's kind of like giving you the rest of the story. You know, you have all these beautiful romance stories and they end and you never know because romance is not always hearts and flowers and unicorns and sexy times. You have to fight for your love. It's 100% at all times. Some days you love your guy and some days you just wanna smack him. Uh, and that's what you see with Evan and Mallory is like when they're away from each other, it's hard because they, they just, they need each other, they crave each other, and it's in those stillness and that loving each other that you, they have to have that connection. And when they're apart, you know, they, there's times you just feel, you, your heart breaks for them, and then when they're together, it's like this warm blossom, and it's just beautiful. And I love that there's like this huge, long couple chapters of an epilogue, it's kind of, and it's just, it gives us just more, you know, sprinkles on the ice cream, because, you know, we have the ending, but we want to know more. And, you know, we get to see Kate and Murphy, and you get to see Sunny and, and Zach, and you just, and Sarah, and Josh, you just, everybody comes together and everybody has a place in this story and you feel like at the very last end that it was all well written and you, you love Evan more, you love Mallory more, you even love Mr. and Mrs. Ashford. And that's what's great about this story because it is truly the title, Loving the Playboy. You love everything about him, but you love this passion that these two have for each other. Guys, it's in the links, it's KU Unlimited. Get all three or just buy the set because you know what? The Paradise set is well worth it. Come on guys, go grab the Playboy. He is worth it. Evan is so worth the read. Yes, it's young adult and you know, it's kind of college age. I'm 40 and I tell you, I enjoy it because when I was in college, I went through those emotions and I think that's why I connected so well with these characters because I understand living apart from the person that you love. And that's why Evan and Mallory's story just, it, it, it drew me in because I understand that, you know, not seeing your loved one for weeks or months on an end, it, it plays with you, but when you're together, you're passionate and you take those little moments and you cherish them. Guys, get the book. Talk to you later, bye.